What up, it's Joe Cash. Tune into Whitney Smitty News. Because it's great content. Like, who doesn't like great content? It's, all we watch online is content. So watch Whitney Smitty News because good content. Christian Smith, Woody Smitty News, joined with Chrome World Domination, day three. What's up? Just, well, you're supposed to main event with Jeffrey, but it got pushed to step and Co-main event, yeah. Co-main event. So, fire battle, how do you think it went? Uh, I'm gonna have to see the footage, to be honest. I just, it was the funnest battle I ever did by a long shot. Jeff is fire, killed it. Uh, I think we both put on a great performance. I think the staff is really happy with the battle. I think the crowd liked it. Do you think that's uh, one of the closest battles you've had? Yeah, uh, I think, it, I don't know if it's, it was the closest necessarily. Uh, actually, it probably was. It was just, I think it's going to be so hard to judge because mm. we do different things, you know what I mean? We're, we're so different in our style. Um, but I mean, nobody got off class or nothing like that. You know, it was definitely, I think it's going to be very debatable and uh, it was dope, man. I had fun. So your second battle out here in Toronto, third overall on GZ. Now, you feel that's helped you be being able to gauge the crowd out here in Toronto being that you have battled here before? Uh, yeah, yes and no. Uh, I feel, coming into this battle, I did feel that way. Uh, but this World Dom crowd was a, very different. Because it's all the battlers, right? Yeah, you, yeah. It's I tough feel, reaction yeah, to get it in Yeah, here. exactly. Like, like um, I'd say almost 50% of the crowd is a battle rapper, you 100%. know, at this point. So, or it's battle rap media, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it, I mean, we're talking big names, you know? We're yeah. not talking just... Joe Battle Raps that Battle Raps yeah, unknown. We're talking like, Thesaurus, Pat yeah, Stay, exactly, Head exactly. Ice, exactly. So, um, that was stressful a bit in the sense of like, okay, you know, I don't know how, how much reaction I'm going to get out of stuff and whatnot. Uh, but overall, it was fire, man. I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, I think the crowd was very different from my last uh, Toronto performance, but uh, it's a fire crowd nonetheless. They always have great crowds down here. So, so going into the battle with Jeffrey, what did you think he was going to bring that you hadn't seen from a previous opponent? Uh, that level of persona, I mean, that type of charisma. Mm. And I, I knew he was going to bring, like, you know, everything he did, I, I kind of could have predicted. Uh, I chose not to feed into the whole Canada, USA um, thing, which I knew was going to be part of one of his rounds. Uh, just because I fuck with the US, I got plenty of American friends. So, like, it was kind of like a touchy. Corny. Yeah, it was corny. Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel like I needed that. Uh, the angle I took in the third is what I chose to do instead of going for the mm. Canada versus uh, USA. Uh, but yeah, I, I think he did exactly what I expected him to do. He was fired, he had bars, he was funny. Um, so yeah, it kind of played out like I thought it would, to be honest. Now, not too long ago, of course, you battled DNA on your home league, DMS. Mm -hmm. You did the interview for it, obviously. So now the footage has been out for about a month, two months. How's the reaction been? You feel that's got you a lot better looks, being that you did battle DNA? Uh, it's gotten me more offers, there's more people in my inbox, but uh, as far as that battle itself, um, like I told you before off cam, I'm, every time I watch it I find something I could have done better mm. in that performance being such a big opportunity. Uh, but I'm happy with the outcome, I'm happy with the feedback, obviously a lot of DNA fans are very biased in the way they judge the battle, but I don't mind it, you know what I mean, I think it was a good battle. and. Uh, yeah, man, it's at almost 20,000 views, so I guess uh, it's a good look regardless, you know? So what's next for DMS? Anything big on the horizon for them? Uh, yeah, I can't really talk about it right now, but uh, there's going to be another big card uh, before the end of the year. Mm, I'll be there. Uh, so I will you, be there. You, you I could will expect be there. me to probably have a, another pretty uh, pretty big opponent. One rounder or three? It's going to be a three round. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah. I like that. So obviously DMS, South of Montreal, French... They have French battles as well. You haven't done one in French yet. No. Nope. Would you ever? Uh, yeah. I'm actually. Uh, I actually spoke about doing a French battle a couple months back. Um, I mean, I'm still, like I told you in our last interview, I'm still kind of riding the wave. It's still kind of surreal for me to be main eventing the GZ Day Three at World Dom a year into my battle rap career, if you want to call it that way. So um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely in the plans. I want to try it out because French is my first language, so it'd be stupid for me not to... Yeah, and they get views, try. man, like I said. Oh, they get more views than the English battles, for sure. I'm Even just to do it for the extra eyes, maybe yeah. more fans on you that maybe don't watch you yet. Yeah, no, definitely, that's also part of it. Uh, the French battles in Montreal do a lot better than English battles because 
more people are going to watch it and relate to it. A lot of French people in Quebec. So I'm definitely going to try it out. Uh, I don't know what context. I don't know if it would be on DMS or Word Up, which is a French league that we have. Uh, I'd definitely like to do it on DMS if I could get a good French opponent. I, I don't want to just battle like a new guy. You know what I mean? I'd like if I get a French battle, I'd like for it to be like a real challenge. So. Uh, yeah, I don't know when, but it's gonna happen for sure. So last question, obviously the Team Gully, Team Gannick, starting to take some sort of shape. We got a date, November sometime. If you get the call for Team Gully, who would you want? I don't, honestly man, they're gonna call me with a name and I'm gonna say yes, so mm -hmm. I'm not well, Who do you think would match up well with you though, where it would kind of somewhat make sense at least? It's not just them throwing, oh you're on Team Gully, he's on Team Gannick, let's put you guys against each other. I don't know, man. To be honest, as this might sound weird, but I think um, Sketch Menace mm. might be like a actually interesting yeah. battle. I know, like I don't know. I think I think Sketch is actually good. You know, he I, is. He's underrated. I, I, he, he, he's very underrated, and uh, we're a bit similar in the, in the way we use angles and punches. We're different, but I mean, I think stylistically it would be a good matchup. I think Cheddar, personally. Cheddar. Cheddar. Mm -hmm. Cheddar cheese. Yeah, yeah, that could be he's good. underrated too, man. Really Chet is fire. Yeah, really Chet is, is fire. Yeah. He's fire. I, I see. I think uh, they're they're gonna try to get Frack versus Chet. I hope they're gonna try to get Frack versus Chet. I know. Frack had a really good performance today. Oh yeah, yeah, he definitely did. He definitely deserving of being on the the Gully versus Gannick card if he wants to. So uh, I know Frack's been gunning for for Chetta, but I would definitely take that matchup in a heartbeat. Like I said, they're gonna call me with a name, and I'm gonna say yes because. Mm. I don't really care who it is, I just... Yeah, you know. just to be on that card, it's yeah, good enough, sure. obviously. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, Witty Spitty News, the boy Chrome, World Dom Day 3, Fire Battle with Jeffrey, be on the lookout for that on GZ. We out of here. Sure.